um, in case you're just joining us, you're finding us in the middle of a conversation in the Kibra votes. So as we are waiting for the official announcement to be made. With us, we still have Dennis Tumbi, Chair of the Christian in Politics Kenya, and also a governance expert, Nerima Wako, Executive Director of Siasa Place, Kevin Osido, Executive Director of County Governance, and Mbukimburu, Governance Expert. Um, Dennis, I want to come to you because you've talked about earlier on. We talked about um, the rest of the voters who didn't cast their ballot and yes. what that means. We'll come to that in just a little bit. Right. But Mbuki, I would love for you to answer a question that I've also seen being brought a lot on social media. Mm -hmm. This is a specific one from a vote from a viewer who is asking, and also Nerima, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Mm -hmm. Please ask the panelist about ethical leadership in response to the reactions of a member of parliament carrying stones along the streets of Kibra. It's on the front page of the standard, actually. Yes. That's the picture you're wondering about. It's, it's, it's so crazy. the issue of, of ethical leadership and what we saw yesterday from our, some of the politicians. It's it's really crazy. And, and just going back to the turnout, 35% turnout, that's mm -hmm. very small. And you're there in the house just following up uh, the Kibra voting and all, and then you see stones. I would not come out going vote. So... Um, I think we need to, uh, you know, sh like call out this, some of this uh, leadership because Boni Halale and you know others that came out on to stone. Um, to stone uh, these people. I mean, they, we need to start calling them out. And just to go back to um, the conversation that we were having in terms of choices and merit, mm. this is where, and it's, it's so unfortunate that um, voters do not really have choices. Yeah, they, they, for example, in terms of party, uh, party nominations, um, it's either you have resources, you either have um, influence, and, and if you look at even these big parties, uh, Jubilee and um, uh, Jubilee and all these other big parties and ODM, mm -hmm. they do not even have the machinery to actually do party proper party nominations, mm -hmm. and that's why we get some of this leadership, uh, these unethical leaders. So um, I think we need to sort of see how we can invest in parties so that we can build machinery that will be able to bring uh, ethical leaders and be able but, to serve us as a Buki, Buki, that is not entirely true, really, because mm -hmm. the, the, you have a chance to run as an independent. In fact, mm -hmm. in Kibra, there were 24. So if they did not want any of these so-called big parties, they mm -hmm. had choices. And you can see by the numbers I've been reading, there are seven <laughs> votes, mm -hmm. 12 votes. So is it just the mentality of the people then, rather than the choices that they have? I think we also need to be realistic. Independence candidates do not have the enough resources to actually campaign for themselves. It's about financial And especially uh, for Kibra. Speaking of class comments, Nerima, Kevin, Buki, and um, Daniel, uh, Dennis. and Dennis, rather, I'm afraid that we need to take your closing remarks. Time is with you. 30 seconds. <laughs> Mm. Um, you are a public figure and you cannot be, be behaving in that manner. Michelle Obama said it best, when they go low, we you go, go high. You do not go lower. And you cannot go and talk to young people and tell them to act different. Mm. Yet here you are preaching water and you're drinking wine. Right. Kevin Osido. Mine is to congratulate uh, Imran Okoth. The last time I wore this orange tie was in 2007. <laughs> and 11 years, 12 years down the line, I did it today because of the legacy of Mishimi Wakenokoth. And so Imran will be watching you, will be there to support you and to help you ensure that devolution works for the lives of the people of Kibra. Of Kibra. I think the by-election has given us very pertinent lessons that we need to learn, including IEBC yeah. uh, ahead of 2022. And uh, much more to the core is the context of uh, the Building Bridges Initiative that, yeah. that this particular by-election has also brought to the fore. And so we will be here to make the voices of citizens count. But I am hoping that even the leaders are also listening and they are watching. Citizens are speaking different things and it's no longer about you. They are talking about their own issues. Okay. Buki? Uh, my first of all is to congratulate uh, Imran Okot. Uh, Bernard, of course, and also just to say that um, also those people who come out uh, out of leadership, they want to vie for leadership positions, they need also to understand that people are now focusing on issues. Just giving an example of Butichi who uh, vied for um, Ecolomani constituency in Kakamega County. He, he actually, the person who won, there was a difference of 1,000 votes, but in Kibra he got only 260. So what is that? What does that mean? So leaders need to focus on issues, not just vying. Mm. Yes. Dennis? Yeah, mine is to say that I'm concerned by the low voter turnout and because technically democracy is a rule by the majority. So by de facto, when you see a low turnout, it means that there's a small minority 
that is making decisions. For example, if you look at it, now you see Imran has been voted by less than 20%. So it means it is the less than 20% that will make decisions for the larger majority. So it means that that's a threat and an affront and a hit to democracy. And I think this is a critical case study for the country, for governance and political experts, for us really to see then how do we enhance uh, uh, the rule by, ma by majority and how do we balance uh, 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 both areas. And also uh, to really ask politicians in this country to be mature and to grow up. Okay. Uh, you know, those the politics of pettiness and insults and, 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 and frivolous conversations yeah. are outdated in this country. So let's be mature, let's grow up, let's teach the next generation how to do proper adult grown-up governance All right. that's critical for us thank you for making time for us Dennis to be governance expert and chairman Christians in politics Kenya Kevin Osido executive director County governance watch Neri Mawako executive director Siasa place in Bukimburu governance expert thank you for making time for us this morning it's official now it's Imran Bernardo court who is now the official Kibra MP elect exactly speaking of which let's take a look at your feedback this is an SMS comment. You're saying it's unfortunate that such social deprived constituency had to attract the dirty national politics. It's now clear that many of those candidates view each other as siblings, but being pushed by the political elites to level to levels of hate. We hope Kibra will not be genesis of dividing this country going forward. May sanity prevail. May sanity rather prevail, and the winner should move fast. To unify the constituency all right let's see what else you're saying here's a nixon from kindaruma good morning to you it's good to see you're saying congratulations to imran okot i highly hope the jubilee government will give him the necessary support in order to uplift the lives of kenyans living in kibra mm -hmm. um john Homa from homa bay good morning you say well honorable imran okot has defeated mcdonald mariga one thing remains outstanding the concession of defeat mcdonald has handled it so casually well quailing any form of resistance this far he is a hero too all right let's see what you're saying on twitter here at Travumbija at zinzi underscore k at citizen tv kenya hashtag daybreak let's run it through isaac mudusi says congratulations imran well done mariga and walo if kibra won there is no loss all right, and that does it for daybreak. Next, you're leveling it up, right? Yeah, today being a Friday, he says, you, thank you, God it's Friday. Are you dancing? You're the one who's dancing. Mm? He's, he's going <laughs> to be with T-Boy, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> after pass. this short commercial break. <laughs> See you in a bit.